Here with head coach John Gross with our weekly conversation. And coach, you went one and one last week, a win at Ohio, and lost on Tuesday to Toledo. Uh, first of all, the Ohio game, you guys took charge early in that game. Just briefly tell me a little bit about the guys and how they performed down in Athens. Well, I thought the first 32 minutes, Chad's the best we played all year. I mean, I, at both ends simultaneously. And just had players step up, and I thought our, I call it teamism, was just excellent. The vibe, the emotion that we played with, the passion. Uh, the effort our guys gave defensively, the ball movement, execution, thought was really good. Now, we didn't <clears throat> quite finish it like we wanted to. They finished on a 19-5 run, but but uh, we did enough there during the first 32 minutes to get up 26 and, you know, finish the game off. But I, I certainly felt like it was a step in the right direction. Daniel Utomi and Jim Mond Ivy had two big games down in Athens. Uh, their leadership once again displaying down there against Bobcats. Yeah, both those guys, especially you know Jim Mond throughout league play. Even if you look at his statistics, Chad, his consistency has been amazing. Uh, both ends of the floor and playing like a senior should play, you know. And um, obviously Dan has finally started to find his way with his shooting, and that's been uh, you know it's been good for us as well. And you knew I always use the phrase water finds its level. And you knew that will, but Dan, he's just too good a shooter. We moved to Tuesday night, and that was a real defensive struggle for the entire game, really. Uh, first half, only uh, allowing Toledo with 29 points. You guys only able to score 20. But defensively, you had to really like the effort until probably the last four minutes of the game. Yeah, I went to a high school game last night where each team had 20 points in the first eight minutes. You know, you would think over 20 we might be able to score a little more than 20. But we, we were bad offensively in the first half. I thought our ball movement, player movement was just – Subpar. Uh, the ball didn't have a lot of synergy at all. Didn't have much energy uh, on that end of the floor. Defensively, as you mentioned, I mean, Toledo's one of the better offensive teams in the country, certainly in our league as well, and we guarded them for 40 minutes. I mean, if you'd have told me they would finish with 63 points and we'd have a defensive efficiency rating below 100, I would have told you we'd have won the game. Unfortunately for us, offensively, we really didn't get going until the second half, which we, you know, overcame the first half offensive woes to take a two-point lead with five and change and had an opportunity. And uh, give them credit, Jalen Sanford in particular was terrific. Lights, lights out at the end of the game, making play after play for their team, and we just didn't make enough of them. And then the guy that kind of stuck out in, their, in that broadcast on Tuesday night was Tyler Cheese. His name was all over that broadcast scoring, getting charges, uh, you got to continue like his play. He's really improving at a rapid rate and really finding ways to make contributions to our team and add value at both ends of the floor. You mentioned the charges, uh, what he sees offensively uh, and what he sees defensively. You know, he's 27 to 11, assist to turnover in league play, which is tremendous. And then uh, defensively, he puts, himself, he puts his body in plays because he sees things, whether it's charges, wall-ups, physicality around the rim. His positioning's gotten better defensively, and he's really improved and you know, excited not only for him here down the stretch and the role he plays on this team, but also even beyond that. Now we get to turn our uh, turn the page to Kent State tomorrow and Buffalo on Tuesday. Obviously, a big rivalry game tomorrow. It's going to be on ni at 9 p.m. on ESPNU. First of all, the importance of home wins and. Uh, Keep, keep keeping advantage of the home court advantage. No question, it's important. Any any win you can get in this league right now, which with how good the league is, is important. You know, rivalry games are. I've, I've had a chance to be a part of a lot of them, whether it's Cincinnati Xavier, Ohio State Michigan, Illinois Missouri, Ohio Miami, now Akron Kent. So real privilege to coach in the game and be a part of all those. This is one of those games I told the guys today. Like if you know you don't have energy for 40 minutes in a game like this, I'd suggest possibly quitting and maybe trying tiddlywinks or, you know, something else, chess or, you know, that that's, you know, that's just not, I mean, that's not, not that this game should motivate everybody. It certainly motivates them. It'll motivate our guys. It's a great, great, great rivalry. It's great for Northeast Ohio. Two quality programs. Kent's obviously very well coached. They're 17 and 5, and they found the way to win close games, Chad. They're 8-0 and 0 in games decided by five points or less which tells you most of the time when that happens, they must be old. And a lot of times the guys that are making plays for them are their seniors, and uh, they are an older team, but they've done a great job of closing games out, and it's going to be a heck of a challenge uh, tomorrow night. Uh, we need everybody to come out and jam the jar, as we've been saying all week, and uh, create a great home court environment for the Zips. And then obviously on Tuesday night you have a, kind of a story of the league in the Mid-American Conference. Buffalo coming in. Uh, they got Massenburg and a bunch of other guys. I mean, I know we're going to focus on Kent today, but 
the initial thoughts of what we know about the Bulls? Yeah, obviously focused on Ken, as you said, but know that that's the next one on the schedule. And I just, you know, obviously they're nationally ranked for a reason. And I follow, obviously, statistics very closely. And, you know, to be in the top 25, both offensively and defensively, tells you how balanced they are. They're older. They've won. They've been there before. You know, obviously they're a really, really good basketball team that, uh, you know, we'll look forward to preparing for once we get through the Kent State game. Appreciate the time as always, Coach. And again, fans, we want you to be here to jam the jar tomorrow at 9 p.m. as the Zips battle the Golden Flashes. If you can't be here, the game will be on ESPNU. Again, that game's at 9 p.m. And then Tuesday night, the Zips will take on Buffalo at 7 p.m. Hope to see you there at the jar. You always get your tickets at gozips.com slash tickets. For Chad Welker and the Zips Digital Network, have a great weekend, and let's go Zips!